Is the king actually safe in this system? No. Does it feel like it's safe? Yes, and that's what's important. I'm not particularly good at chess. Hello everyone, welcome to the Coward Chess Speedrun. This is All Pawns, All Hope, and let's just get into it. In this speedrun, we play cowardly moves exclusively. And look at this, he saw it coming. We're gonna come right back at him. Like I was saying, cowardly moves exclusively. What does that mean? What on earth is going on here? Am I gonna get a game? No one wants the smoke? There we go. There we go. So cowardly moves exclusively here. We play this opening called the hovel system. It shrouds our king in pieces, and it also at the same time gives an illusion of safety. Is the king actually safe in this system? No. Does it feel like it's safe? Yes, and that's what's important. Now here, if you were to capture this knight, I would have to recapture with my king. And that is big sad. So I'm gonna block that bishop with this pawn here. And then my next idea, my next moves are going to move the bishop here. Again, the shrouding the king in pieces sort of concept, and then we can castle. Is this a good opening? Again, no. Mm, we were trying to cook, let's say. And you know what? It's unique. And I think a lot of the time, that's what, that's what matters the most. So we've got our whole hovel set up here. He really let us do that. We've got the hovel. Now time for other people to develop their pieces. But in this speed run, we don't do that. We keep, it, we keep our cards and our pieces close to our chest here. So have I thought about what are my opponent is doing? No, why would I do that? Everything is being defended. So what is there to think about? If the position is even remotely unclear, as it says in the rules, I just shuffle, right? What initiative can I take? Is there a free piece on the board? I shuffle, okay? Maybe there is a free, chip, free piece on the board and I haven't seen it. I'm not particularly good at chess. In fact, what I've done here is called blundering a pawn. But I got to shuffle my queen, okay? So, you know, call it even. But uh, once he takes this pawn, as he should, I think I will... Oh, and he doesn't. And he gives me an opportunity to close the position, okay? So, I've created this wedge of pawns in the middle of the board that is very hard to get past. It clogs up the arteries, and I'm perfectly fine with that. See this number here, 9 minutes, 22 seconds? That's significantly higher than his number. So if I just keep things clogged, don't do anything too fancy, I'm just going to win by default. I got my win condition in the bag, baby. It's time. I got time on my side. So that's what I'm committing to. Makes an obvious move there. That's the only move that didn't lose his bishop. But uh, you know what? We've got our win condition. We're going to keep closing it up. So now the center is really clogged. He's going to struggle to move around. Guess what? I don't care. This is my zone. This is my zone, okay? I'm going to move the knight here. Now you might be thinking, this is a juicy square. Maybe we're going to develop there. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to move here to make a one-move threat against his bishop. This is bad, okay? Don't make one-move threats. But in this speed run, it's cowardly because I force him to think about where he wants to put the bishop, which milks more time off his clock. And that's what we care about here. I'm not trying to be good at chess. Well, he defended his bishop, but maybe he's one of those guys who doesn't want to trade. Oh, he does move it. This is perfect. This is perfect. Okay, so maybe we offer a trade here. I think that's what we do. We offer a trade again. It's an offer. He has to think about this. He doesn't think about it. Wow. Okay, well, I recapture. So at some point in the game, I'm going to have to think and stop talking. And that point might be just about now, because you see now he's offering, he's asking me questions. 
I was sort of clowning on him earlier for taking time to decide on things. I'm also bad at that. So, hmm, maybe we move out here. It's sort of, it, you know, it's sort of tricky. He's like, well, he's looking through. Maybe I take it. You know what? I think, I think, I, I, I think I shuffle. I, I follow my earlier advice. If there's an un is something unclear, I just shuffle. So that's what I have to do here. This is fine. I'm, I'm totally okay with this. I think I'm going to capture with the knight. And this is because I think it's just, again, trying to ask him some questions about, oh, there we go, he's answering them for me. Um, let's see here. Now, we take this. If we take this way, it opens up this line here, which I kind of like. It's not particularly cowardly, but I think it might be good. This might be the first move I've made because I think it's genuinely good. Hmm. Okay, it's giving me something to think about here. Maybe I go and do another thing, um, another one move threat. What's the threat here? Just taking this pawn for free. If he moves this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna admit my, I'm gonna admit that it was sheepish. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go right back, right? So, move out here. One move threat. He's got to think about it. If he goes here, I'm just moving right back. My advantage is on the clock. Really not about chess, folks. There we go. Perfect. What did that earn me? Ten seconds. You know what they say about war. It's you. It's a game of seconds. It's a, it's all about the. Never, okay, I'll stop talking. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. Hmm. I'm thinking it's unclear. You know what? Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm I'm thinking it's unclear. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shuffle here. Make him think I've got something cooking. There's nothing cooking. Ooh, maybe he does something like this. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to shuffle again. I think. Hmm. You know what? I really don't think. I really don't think. And that's part of the issue. Maybe, here's an idea. I stack up the rooks. Okay. So... That could be something. That could be something. Hmm. Yeah, let, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm going to stack up the rooks here. Yeah. So, I think once I have them doubled up, I'm not really threatening much. What is this? My goodness. Okay, so I get to take this with check. Okay, so... And then I recapture with the pawn. I think he didn't see that I could take with check there. Now maybe I actually take with the bishop because um, I'm threatening his other knight. Okay, I think I I think I like that. So my back rank here is completely covered, but he's not threat. He wouldn't be threatening it anyways. But yeah, so I'll go over later what he th what I think he thought the tactic was there. But this is another aspect of just keeping pressure on the clock and not moving your pieces or taking any sort of initiative. Eventually your opponent is like, oh my goodness, play chess. And then they make the mistake of trying to play chess, which is a famously complicated game. And none of us at this level really understand it. So the best thing to do is to just not play it. There we go. He avoids blundering his piece. Mm, I'm up material, so now I'm just going to go for trades here. So that's my desire. Now his knight is nicely hemmed in by my bishop. And if he moves, well, he can't really move on to any of those squares, but I'll gladly trade him again because I'm not material and I just, I would love that. So again, lessons from this game so far. It's very good to just shuffle randomly when you don't know what's going on. The second thing I think to take away, don't play chess. At all costs, avoid playing chess. You're so bad at it at this level. We are just so bad. Just try to move things around aesthetically. Keep them close to your king. That has to be good, no? So, 
So far it's working. Who knows? Maybe I'll blunder something. As I said, I'm not good. So I think we're in the sort of uh, cheeky one move threat territory. Mm, but I, I might double up on this file. Again, I'm thinking of maybe getting a, a queen trade in here. Something like that. So yeah, let's double up on this file. And I might actually have a threat here. Now, dare I play chess? There's a, that's a check. You'd have to, okay, maybe I can force a queen trade. Hmm, interesting. So his king and his queen are lined up here, and I want to skewer them. Another thing that's lined up are his queen and his rook. So if I go here, he's sort of forced to take with the knight. And when I recapture, this skewer still exists. Now, he can, of course, just take the queen, and I'll recapture with the the rook, but then so much material is off the board, I'm happy with that. So I think this is the move here. I think this is the move. It gets a lot of material off the board at the very least. So it would have been, maybe I would try to like set up a trap if I was interested in playing chess so I could just win the queen. But again, I'm not interested in playing chess. I'm terrified of chess. That's why this is the Coward Chess speedrun. And if you're watching this, you're also not interested in playing chess. Maybe you're just interested in ELO. And to a certain point, playing cowardly will win you ELO. Oh, and he's just gonna, maybe this is the best move. Maybe this is the best move. I don't think so because I think it might be forced mate. It probably loses him more material overall. But he made a go of it. He made a go of it. And there you have it, folks. That's Coward Chess. We take those. As we see, we're up on the clock. We're up on material. What more do you want from me? I ran this one solo today. Um, we'll be back to the whole duo queue next time around. But thanks for your patience with this one. This is All Pawns All Hope. Watch again if you're interested in getting better at chess to a point and then plateauing because you're not actually playing. See you next time.